Hey everybody, thanks for spending these few minutes with me. We call it Coffee with PC. That's because I went to my favorite coffee truck, uh, Cup of Cabana, and got this one of their fall flavors. Blackberry Cobbler brings back lots of memories. <laughs> Usually don't like sweeter coffees, um, but, but that taste of blackberry quite enjoyed. So thanks Cup of Cabana for that. Oops, uh, just about got that finished up. Um, Actually, I gotta, I gotta just let you know real quick though, I'm actually recording this Tuesday afternoon, not Wednesday morning. This isn't our normal Wednesday morning, even though we're gonna put it out there tomorrow morning. And that's because you know as well as I do if you're here in Florida, we have got a major hurricane barreling toward our state. Um, certainly we have been watching it as most people have and preparations have been underway, particularly as it's, it's projected uh, to go up somewhere up the west coast from us here. I don't know what our weather conditions are going to be tomorrow as it's kind of Wednesday and the Wednesday evening and Thursday gets the closest to us. So thought I would go ahead and, and record this today uh, just to touch base. And really that's what I wanted to, to record. Uh, I certainly could do a, a bit of Bible study. We'll probably pick that up with Matthew next week. But just to, to pause together and recognize that there, there's a lot of people um, as we saw with Helene and, and the, the devastation that it, it rendered, particularly in, the, in what might be considered the most unusual places. Not, yes, along the coast, there was damage. We've seen that, but even the, the further inland, um, and particularly in the Western North Carolina, Tennessee, all of that part of, of the world that was affected. And now not much more than two weeks later, another is gonna hit some of those same Florida, near some of those same Florida coastal towns, it looks like, that were affected and then move uh, into Tampa, possibly, and across the state. Just a lot of people that have prepared, have probably uh, already evacuated from that area and are, as we know in the Keys, because we've been through some hurricanes down here, um, that sense of leaving, not knowing what you'll come back to is really tough. Um, so I certainly have that on my mind. I imagine most of you do as well. So we're just going to spend a few minutes um, remembering those folks and, and praying. And, and to, to, to kind of also remind you, in the aftermath, after this storm does pass through and whatever um, damage it does, there will be lots of people who are anxious to help. Um, we're part of an organization that has a very active disaster relief ministry, uh, very well-trained volunteers. We, ha we have at our state convention a, a state convention strategist that's specific to disaster relief in the state of Florida that's part of the state disaster relief team. You know, he's kind of in the room in Tallahassee as things are unfolding and his plans are being formulated of how to respond, um, connecting not just with Florida disaster relief units, because many of those are in the path of this storm and they'll be cleaning up, but, but other states that will send disaster relief units. And it's remarkable. Uh, feeding units. Um, chainsaw type units for down trees and whatnot. I call them muck out units for any like, like water that gets in to homes. They come in and they, they know how to, to handle that, to treat it, to, to, to do what needs to be done, to, to clean it up and to, to get the, the, the chemicals that are needed to prevent um, long-term mold and other things coming in and then to help in those very practical ways. Teams that, that put tarps on roofs to, to, to help with that. And so, so they are already in the staging process. A lot of them are already busy. They've already been uh, in Perry and some of those places, some up on into the Georgia and Carolinas. And now uh, after this storm, they're gonna be right there. And, and as always, we say a practical way to help is if you want to donate to some of these disaster relief units, um, whether it is the, the Florida Baptist Disaster Relief or, or larger picture Send Relief, which is our North American Mission Board, or maybe some of you are familiar with Samaritan's Purse and their disaster relief. All of those places get you know, kind of on the ground with very practical hands-on help that, that if you want to donate, um, you can donate to those organizations. And the best part of it is every penny you give goes to help those affected. There's no overhead. Overhead's already covered, like in our, our Florida Baptist and our North American Mission Board, our Send Relief, because our churches like ours give all the time. Every month we're giving to cover the, the organizational overhead so that when disaster strikes, the money that's given for disaster relief goes to them. Um, I'll, I'll put some links here uh, on this video or, or let you know if you want to give to those, how to do that online, um, and, and you can do that. But certainly we wanna be praying uh, for all of those who are affected. Some lives are likely going to be 
uh, lost, as, as unfortunately happens in any hurricane of, of this magnitude. Um, certainly many lives are going to be upended, uh, homes severely damaged and, and loss of, of property, and, and, and then a long process of, of rebuilding, of, of reestablishing sometimes whole communities. Um, and so we want to remember these folks. It, it, it is, as if you've been through it, you know, an agonizing time of waiting when you get out to come back in. And so those are, those are what's on my mind. That's what I'm, those are the folks I'm going to be praying for. And that's one thing that we're going to support personally, uh, those who are helping and, and offering relief efforts after the storm passes. So um, let's just take a minute. Let's just pray. Uh, I don't, sometimes you don't know what else to do. We, we talked about prayer a few times in Matthew, and, and we know that even last week we talked about that, that mustard seed faith that Jesus says. And, 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 and while I would love to see this thing just dissipate and affect nobody, uh, that's, that's not out of my control. And so I'm just going to trust God to, to, to do what only he can do and to, to help those who will be impacted. So just a brief prayer together, and then we'll wrap up this, this time. And I'm sure with, with maybe our weather worsening tomorrow here and all the, all the things that you might be doing, you'll have plenty on your plate. So thanks for joining me. Just a quick prayer, and then we'll be done today. Uh, Father in heaven, we do feel particularly helpless in times like this. When we see a storm, a hurricane, or, or other natural disasters uh, that happen. We, we've just seen a couple of weeks ago, Helene go through and what that did. And now we have Milton on its way. And, and, and uh, Lord, if, if it could just fizzle out and come to nothing, boy, that would be awesome. Uh, but Father, we know that these kind of things are, are, are regular and, and they happen in our world and people will be impacted. And, and above all, Lord, we pray for safety. We pray for lives to be spared, for people to have heated evacuation orders to have have moved to safe places that you'll protect all of them all those that are traveling today and and once they're settled in lord as the storm goes across and i thank you for the people that will help in the aftermath those disaster relief volunteers that will come in and 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 practically help whether it's helping people uh, by providing meals, whether it's helping with a chainsaw or with, with cleaning out homes that might be flooded or, or, or put a tarp on a roof that might be damaged or all the other things that these groups and these individuals do. Thank you for those who volunteer, who give of their time and, and their, their ability to help. And, and Lord, use them, I pray, to bring practical help, to bring encouragement, to bring comfort to those who are, will be impacted by this storm. Uh, Father, help us to never f forget those who are in those circumstances it's easy when we're not affected to kind of forget and go on with our lives but help us be aware that we've been on the receiving end of help in the past and we want we want to to be aware of those and if there's something we can do father help us to be generous and and to be aware of these things use all of the the donations and all of the manpower for your glory and for the help of those who desperately need it again father just please protect all of those in the path of this storm and we trust this to you in Christ's name. Amen. You know, we were reading this week um, in Romans, you know, where it talks about when we don't know how to pray, the Spirit intercedes. And so all I hope is today as we've prayed a little bit and, and inadequate prayers for people that are facing this incredibly uh, powerful storm that God might use our prayers to bring to bear some things. Um, that, those are my thoughts. Obviously kind of a heavy-hearted thing, but I know it's on a lot of our minds. I know you'll, like me, probably be watching the news and, and seeing, and, and I'm going to look for ways that I can practically help. Hope you will, too. Uh, so I'll leave you with the rest of your Wednesday. Um, I think some of our activities, I'm not sure all that's going on. No no Bible study Wednesday night. We're not going to do that tonight. Um, just the, the weather is expected to get... Uh, worse over the afternoon and into Wednesday night. So I want people to stay home and stay safe. Um, so I'll leave that with you. Uh, please be careful, take care, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.